So what does it mean if you do a food sensitivity test and you test negative to all foods, but you know you have noticeable reaction to food proteins? Well, it may mean a couple of things. It may mean the lab test you did was inaccurate. Maybe the lab test you measured only checked IgG, whereas your immune response may be IgM or IgA or IgE. There's different types of antibodies that cause different types of responses. So different lab tests evaluate different parts of the immune response. Also, uh, some, immune re some reactions to foods are not even immunological. They're neurological, or they're vascular, or they involve aflatoxins, or they involve preservatives or additives. Um, so these are things that are real-life uh, clinical reactions to food proteins. My name is so what does it mean when you do a food sensitivity test and you test positive for almost every single food? <laughs> well, that means you probably have lost what's called immune tolerance. So your immune system has a mechanism called tolerance, and the, the, the concept of tolerance is the proportional response to food proteins. When your body loses this function, your immune system loses this function, your immune system starts to react to every single type of protein you add into it. And if you have lost your tolerance and you remove all the foods you reacted to and you only eat foods that you didn't react to, what's gonna happen in a few months is you're just gonna react to the new foods you listed, that you tested on there. Now, these are the important concepts that are involved with the whole world of food sensitivities. You know, a common thing that people ask is if I have lots of food sensitivities, if I fix my leaky gut, can I get rid of them? And the answer is it's possible, but there's lots of things involved with that. So one of the newest concepts that have really hit mainstream medicine that's been around in healthcare for many, many years is the concept of leaky gut where the tight junctions open up and food proteins cross and then that leads to an immune response. So the theory being if you can take things like glutamine and change your diet, if you can fix your leaky gut, can you get rid of some food sensitivities? And the answer is it depends on the severity of the reaction. It depends on what's called immune tolerance. There's lots of factors besides just taking a nutraceutical to fix a leaky gut that will help you get rid of food sensitivities. Uh, my name is Dr. Tish Krause, and I'm a researcher, clinician, educator, and author. This is one of the concepts I teach in my upcoming course, Food Sensitivities, Solving the Puzzle. To learn more, click on the link below.